All right, gentlemen, week one of CONCACAF Champions League play is in the books. There were five major league soccer teams involved. Only one was able to get the win. That was New York City FC, who took a 5-3 victory uh, down in Costa Rica. I think the headlining result was LAFC falling to Leon in Mexico by a final score of 2 to nothing. We saw some good. We saw some bad. We saw some CONCACAF. Ale, uh, how would you describe the level we saw from MLS teams in this the first week of CCL? Not surprising. We have seen it before. And if the tournament continues to be structured the way it is, and MLS continues to be structured the way it is, then we'll continue to see this. And what I mean by that is we saw teams that physically are not ready to compete for 90 minutes. And so when you see teams and MLS teams go up 2 nothing in matches and then give up late goals and struggling to keep up with the fitness level late in the match, well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't surprise anybody because, well, the, this is the first real competitive match that you're playing in the season. And for any team in the world, it would be a struggle. And it's not surprising that, that, that this, this continues to happen with MLS teams. It has happened in years past and it will continue to happen as long as the tournament is the way it is and the teams are the way they are. I think the disappointing part would be not only the fact that you give up late goals, and I think those, those results still are good results for MLS, it's, it's the LAFC. The LF, LAFC game and that result in particular and the performance in particular, because you, you look at it and you say 2 nothing, and you say, well, that's not, that's not too bad. Man, but it wasn't a 2 nothing sort of game. It was Leon all over LAFC and LAFC struggling and an LAFC team that is not fully structured and fully put together. And that's part of the, the byproduct of having this game scheduled so early on where you don't have your actual starting 11 team that you're going to have in, in the regular season at some point when things get going. You have a couple of guys just kind of covering holes that, that are not going to be there when things count for LAFC. And so... It was disappointing in terms of the result, it was disappointing in terms of the performance, and it's disappointing in the fact that LAFC has a lot of expectations on them and not quite able to deliver away from home. Herc, the difference we saw between Leon and LAFC, you think that's a fair representation of the gap between Liga MX East and Major League Soccer? No, I don't, uh, but it's not surprising. I mean, they are the only team that faced Mexican opposition, and they also happen to face probably the most consistent team over the last, I would say, 14, 15 months in Mexico, in Leon. Uh, very well coached team, very, very well structured. Not a lot of player turnover, and I will add to that. I will echo that the calendar doesn't help Major League Soccer at all. Ali's, you know, hit the nail on the head right there. You can see teams gassing out, peaking around minute 60, and after that, they're leaking goals. Uh, it's physically and emotionally draining for those teams. It's unlike what we would probably see during the regular season. But also the amount of player turnover and how things can change tactically. I mean, you see a Montreal Impact who's got a new coach. You know, you, you see a, a New York team who's got a new coach. There are different tactics, different systems, different players. LAFC and Ali touched on that kind of player turnover. Huh? Maybe that's not the same team we're going to see during the regular season. You look at the goalkeeper, brand new goalkeeper with a brand new makeshift back line, a defensive midfielder who's also brand new to the team, to the league, who's not used to those players, and all of a sudden that team's out of whack, disproportioned. Uh, it's not balanced. So you see a Carlos Vela who's all of a sudden, instead of playing on the wing where he's more accustomed to, playing as a nine with his back to goal. And he was irrelevant in this game because of how defensively deep they were, how on an island those three up front were. Bob Bradley didn't have the solutions. You're also making decisions that really are just dumbfound me. You're and Walker Zimmerman go, who was probably one of your best defenders, one of the league's best defenders during the regular season. You're letting him go. Now you're bringing in Dejan Djokovic, who's a Canadian international and maybe doesn't start for the majority of MLS teams. So this isn't the same best Major League Soccer team, regular season best, regular season historic team that we saw facing off against one of the very best Liga Mekis teams. Ale, will LAFC be able to turn it around at home? Short answer is no. But they are fortunate enough that it was only 2 nothing, and, and I do think they somehow give themselves an opportunity to turn it around at home. I don't think right now they're ready to do that. I don't think right now, as, as currently constituted, they're good enough to do that, and Leon will at least get an away goal, and that may just put it away for them. And so uh, I think they were fortunate to get out of there with a 2 nothing. That gives them some reason for hope and, and some reason to think that maybe they'll be able to turn it around. 
I just don't think defensively right now they're in a position where they can uh, guarantee a shutout at home. Eric, what are LAFC's uh, chances? No. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, I, I think they could win this game, no doubt. But if you're telling me they're going to keep Leon at zero, they're going to shut out that type of attack with the way they play in transition, with the way LAFC is set up right now. I couldn't even tell you who's going to start. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of turnover. Maybe it's not Palacios. Maybe it's Jordan Harvey. Maybe it's not Dejan Djokovic. Maybe it's somebody dropping in. Uh, maybe Eduard Atuez has come back in time and he can play that defensive midfielder role. Maybe he doesn't. There are so many questions with this club. But the main thing is, how can you shut out Leon? And I don't see that happening. And because of that, I don't see uh, LAFC going through. I'm looking at the rest of uh, Major League Soccer's entrance in the CONCACAF Champions League. New York City already comfortably ahead, heading, and I say this in air quotes, back home because it's uh, Red Bull Arena for them. But the other three teams that all tied, we've got uh, Atlanta, who went to Motagua and Honduras and, uh, and drew. Alianza, oh, sorry, uh, Seattle drew at Olympia in Honduras 2-2, and Saprissa and Montreal drew 2-2. Uh, that match played in Costa Rica. Of those three teams, uh, Ale, who are you most worried about not making it to the quarterfinals? I think without a doubt it's Montreal. And, uh, and the reason I say Montreal is because I, I, I don't really trust this team. And until I see this group play together for a long period of time and where they're able to string results together and we actually see the quote-unquote influence of uh, Thierry Henry, then maybe I change my mind. Uh, but up until then, all I know from Montreal is a team that sometimes can look okay, but most times have difficulties with consistency. I can see Saprissa going into Montreal and getting a result and winning the game. And if that's the case, then they would advance. Uh, Seattle, uh, I trust this team blindly that the that the 2-2 draw, even though it was disappointing in the end, I, I think will be more than enough for them to go back home and, and win the game. And Atlanta did just enough to, to draw the game against uh, Motagua. And again, they'll come home and they'll put it away. Montreal is the one that I would say I question, although I do believe that they should advance. I don't quite trust that they will advance. Beyond LAFC, Herc, who do you see getting hey. in trouble? Uh, it's it's got to be Montreal, and it's not so much because Montreal isn't a good team and it's inconsistencies. It's just it's that trust factor that Ali's just mentioned. I trust Atlanta more. I trust Seattle more. I trust New York more. That trust isn't there with Montreal. That good credit isn't there because they haven't proven it, though they are the only one out of those who's actually made it to a CCL final. That said, new coach, new system, and they're playing against probably the strongest opponent in Saprissa. Yeah, they've got the most to worry about. All right, CCL always gives us interesting storylines and some drama. Second legs next week to look forward to. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.